Welcome back to Innocence Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Master update. We're going to use Sacred Secrets. And once I finish up, I'm going to turn down the music. No one can stop it. Cause we smell and dust it. We have a lifetime of love. A lifetime of love. Don't join together. No one break asunder. We have a lifetime of love. A lifetime of love. No fear is what I do. Me tell you, your friend, I tell you wrong. If you let me feel good. I hope everybody is doing well. Make sure you push that like button. Subscribe to the channel. would be greatly appreciated. Let me go over the services that I provide really quick. And we will jump straight into this reading. I provide a protection bubble that covers you with the blood of Jesus. It prevents any harm, danger, or evil coming towards you for 90 days for $22. I also have a family protection bubble bundle, which is for one adult and up to four children. That is $44. We still got to keep our children protected against molestation, abuse, bullying, generational curses. I also do cord cutting, which severs any ties to any unhealthy, toxic narcissists, toxic family members, anybody that's not for your highest good. Make sure you get a cord cutting. That is $55. I also do reversal spell work. I can remove any kind of spell work that has been done on you. I can remove curses, voodoo, hexes, black magic, spell work, anything that has been done on you. I can send it right back to the sender right away. If you do not have any money whatsoever, please leave in the comments full detail of what you need the prayer to be about. And if you feel more comfortable, please feel free to reach out to my email, which is innocencetarot at gmail.com. And I will put you in the prayer book, okay? And make sure that you leave full detail of what you need the special prayer to be about. If you need to speak to me for any reason, I also offer a service that I reach out to you for an hour and 11 minutes. We can talk about anything that you want to set up here and talk about. And um, 
we'll handle that okay i love all you guys make sure you guys push that like button subscribe to the channel would be greatly appreciated okay let me sit up here and get four more cards adam took some nyquil you guys i'm i'm sorry if i'm kind of you know tired but i wanted to sit up here at least get two readings out i've been at the shop all day you know just my sinuses is just kicking in and i took some nyquil so please work with me work with me okay so let's sit up here and get straight into this reading okay your Divine Masculine is feeling very jaded right now. He's really up in his feelings. Your Divine Masculine could be looking at getting locked up, okay, in the, in the future, okay? What this say? It says, you are always in my heart. He said, he's, you're still in his heart. He's still holding on to you, okay? But your Divine Masculine is going do a lot of karma right now for him being not here, being wild, mistreating you, doing all type of shisty ass things. Karma has caught up to him and he's going through it right now for all his wild ass deeds and the shit that he was out here doing. Okay. Divine feminine, you slowly mending your heart after purging your divine masculine. You no longer want to be heard. You're no longer opening your heart up to him to be heard again. And you finally sitting up here choosing to go down a new journey, okay? Your divine masculine wants you to know that he apologizes, okay, for having a cold heart, being detached, not treating you the right way, and always having full of ball juice, always out here doing shit that he had no business doing. He want to sit up here and apologize to you for how he treated you and for slinging all that juice that he was slinging, okay? Divine Master also wants to apologize to you for always keeping backup bitches in his little black book options always around. Divine Master sees that he, he, he took it overboard. He took it overboard. He overkilled the whole situation because he wasn't willing to give up them fucking options, okay? And he wants to apologize to you about it, okay? Divine Feminine, you feel like your Divine Masculine is a manipulator. You're not sitting up here wanting to take any offer from your Divine Masculine. Your love is fall, is fading apart, okay? You see him as a manipulator, and you do not want to sit up here and take his offer in no type of way. Mm -mm. You don't trust your Divine Masculine. You don't believe that he loves you. And if he does still love you, your love is fading away, okay? You no longer want to sit up here. Where'd it go? I'm sorry. Where'd it go? I just seen it. Hmm. That's just that. Oh, here it go. I'm sorry, you guys. Yep, you, your love is uh, is is fading away, divine feminine, because you see him as a manipulator. You don't trust his fucking ass. Every time you gave your heart to him, he made you feel stupid for giving it to him, and you're not finna put yourself in that same position anymore. You no longer want an offer from your divine masculine whatsoever. Okay. Mm -mm. You pumping the brakes on everything. You forgive him, but you don't want to sit up here and be with him. Okay. How you used to feel about him, you no longer feel about him. And you be pausing, and you no longer feel the same way about him. When your divine masculine find out this, when you finally tell him exactly how you feel, it's going to hurt him. It's going to shatter him. He might bust a window. He might shoot through a window. Okay, but he going to show his ass, okay? He ain't going to leave quietly, okay? Divine feminine, you dating somebody to see you as a diamond, okay? Someone at a distance, okay? Someone at a distance you've been sitting up here dating that really loves you, that really sees your value, and really wants to be with you, okay? They really want to sit up here and start a family with you, start having a new beginning with you, okay? It look like you got the clarity that you're in love. you in love again, Divine Feminine, but you ain't in love with your Divine Masculine. Your heart is beating for someone else, and you finally sit up here and got the clarity that, hey, I'm in love, okay? And you're in love. You feel like this new love that you have been sitting up here dating, you feel like he's the one. You feel like you can be yourself. He's the one, and he done opens your heart to make you feel like you can trust again. 
okay? You're ready to sit up here and give him the key to your heart fully, okay? You finally ready to sit up here and commit and be with someone else through all the heartache and pain that you done been through, okay? And it's not because he looks out for you. It's not just because he helps you out with bills. You really do feel like he's the one, okay? And you really do love him, okay? You feel as though that you guys can work as a team together. Everything is smooth. Your heart is open to it, okay? And this is what's happening, okay? It feels refreshing to be able to have deep emotions for someone else that appreciates your love, okay? Sometimes you got to pinch yourself to even fit, to, to even see that it's real love, okay? It's been a long time since you've been in love with somebody that's been loyal to you, that really sees you, that really feels you, that you can really just be yourself, okay? Being yourself is good enough, okay? And you see that, okay? And God wants you to follow your heart. You are single. And you need to follow your heart and do what's best for you, divine family. Okay? Because whoever this love is, okay, you guys be vibing. Okay? Connected. He's very supportive. Okay? Whoever this love has been, okay, you feel like it's hope that you can finally trust again. You can open your heart. And, he, and you just know that he really loves you. Whoever you've been sitting up here dealing with, you're not even feeling your divine master no more, okay? And divine master, he very suspicious. He's spying. He want to sit up here and see who you're dealing with. He driving past your home and want to know who you giving your loving to, okay? Watching, cutting out a heart in a, in a leaf. Look at him. Look at him looking stupid and goofy, watching, okay? And you best believe he watching you driving past your house and shit, okay? He sure lives divine family, okay? But you see him as forbidden fruit. You're no longer sitting up here giving your heart to your divine master. You even gave your heart to somebody else that got divine feminine heart beating, okay? She truly in love, okay? Mm, mm, mm. Yes, okay? And you feel like this new love, this soulmate is a perfect match for you, okay? You really do. You feel like it's a perfect match. And when your divine masculine... He going to feel jaded, okay, knowing that he no longer has the key and that he's locked out your life, okay? Okay? Mm-hmm. Watch when he sit up here and get the clarity that you in love with someone else and that you really feeling somebody else, okay? Mm, we finna act a fool, okay? The divine feminine says she's not giving her heart to his fucking ass no more. Mm-mm. She don't want him, Okay? You done found somebody that really gets you, that supportive, okay, that you feel is the perfect match, okay? Who you thought was your divine masculine might not even be your fucking divine masculine. Might be a karmic soulmate, okay? All this time, you've been sitting up here thinking, okay? Because whoever you was dealing with, the masculine, he was cold-hearted. All he wanted to sit up here and do is come with fucking ball juice, bubble gum, and some dangling, okay? Manipulating the whole situation and then had the nerve to be cold-hearted like you did something wrong, okay? You ain't going for that shit no more, divine family, okay? Mm -mm. You done put a pause on that whole relationship with him, okay? Yo, the love that you have for your masculine and faded and you is dealing with this high power soul, man. You are? Mm-hmm. Yep, even though he apologizing, he's still keeping his options open. He's still keeping his black book. He's still keeping people on speed down, okay? Even though he apologizing or even though he wants to come in and apologize. But Divine Feminine, you no longer single, okay? You done met somebody that you digging, okay? And Divine Masculine been trying to sit up here and stop the whole thing, okay? So it's true, okay? Mm-hmm. And whoever... You've been dealing with, you've been distant from your divine masculine, really relearning how to love yourself. You're a diamond in a rut. And somebody sees your value and really investing in you. He can't take it. Going to end up having a kid, a baby, okay? You need to follow your heart. What feels right is always right, okay? Mm -hmm. And what the best thing is, you can be yourself. You ain't got to be nobody else but yourself. Okay, and whoever this new love is, he's loyal, he's into you. Okay, and you both have deep feelings for each other, and it's refreshing. 
it's refreshing to be able to work together as a team and come together, okay? And you enjoy this new love that you're dealing with, okay? And you are really ready to give him the key. He's the one. He's the one. You feel like he's your perfect match, okay? You finally have hope, Divine Feminine. I'm so happy for you. So happy for you. Okay, let me sit up here and see what else. Okay. Because love is on the rise. Okay, it is. Okay. Your divine master, you're not letting him delay your progress anymore. Mm -mm. You burning all the memories that you and him used to have. You could care less. Okay. You could care less. Yep. Because you feel divine feminine that you have found your missing piece. You finally happy, okay? And you feel like your divine master is all washed the fuck up, okay? Okay, brewing energy boost, okay? Brewing energy boost. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. I ain't even gonna try. No, I am gonna try brewing energy boost. Okay, maybe you just like to drink coffee, okay? You watching Innocence Tarot, okay? Hello. Because you finally done found the key to your heart, okay? And it is finally what? Safe to love, divine feminine. Whoever this soulmate is, he's always sending you love messages, making you feel good about yourself, making you feel that it's okay to open up your heart and love again, okay? Yes. You no longer want to sit up here and be in confusion with your twin flame. No. You're not doing that no more. You got too much growth and abundance that you're looking forward to, okay? And you're not going to sit up here and let your divine masculine betray you, hurt you, and stab you in the heart again, okay? Your heart is caged up to him. You don't want to be with him no more, okay? And you're no longer going to get caught in your divine masculine's web, okay? You no longer want to feel spiteful in your feelings, heartbroken, hurt anymore. You want to finally heal, and you are. Okay. You taking the risk moving forward, taking the leap of faith, okay? And you giving your heart to someone else. You finally feel free, okay? And you finally done met love, dating. And if you ain't, you about to, okay? Yes. You've been guarded, patient, praying, asking God to send you true love. And God is this soulmate. He's going to be the one, okay? That sit up here and marry you. You're no longer dealing with your fake ass divine masculine and his interference on trying to hate on you. Okay. You could have been talking to this um, soulmate ever since Christmas. You've been going through a transformation. And the main thing is you love yourself. Okay. Whoever this soulmate, he done restored restore love back into your life, okay? And you guys have equality, working together, love, okay? And the best thing is you get to work as a team and you finally feel supported. It feels good to work as a team and to come together. It feels good. And y'all really vibe. You really vibe. And you need to sit up here and follow your heart, okay? Follow your heart. It's okay to love, okay? And you do that, Divine Family. We're so happy for you. So happy for you. Let me get another deck and see what's going on. Okay, let me see what's going on. Let me see. I'm sorry, y'all. Then I'm gonna lay my butt down. I'm gonna eat my rest of my Panda Express and then I'm gonna head out. But I will be back on here tomorrow, okay? We're gonna sit up here and use accusations and conversations and decisions by Miss T. Diva, okay? Let's get into the energy. What else? Okay. God said, listen to your intuition. Okay. Your intuition ain't going to never let you down. That's your connection to God. Okay. Your intuition is just like a biblical cord to a baby. Okay. Better listen to it, follow it, and strengthen it. Okay. Faith, new beginnings after a storm. Divine feminine, you're going to end up getting pregnant by your new boo boo. Okay. Divine feminine, you extra guarded towards your divine masculine. You don't want to deal with him no more. Spying, there is something about you that triggers me, okay? You're guarded. It's something about this new soulmate at times that 
that may, it triggers you as well, okay? There's something about him that triggers you as well. Even though he's not doing anything, you just got your guard up. Just don't want to be hurt. But God says follow your heart. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Okay? Because you about to be a power couple, okay? You about to be a power couple, whoever this man is, Okay? He got money. He going to help you. He going to meet you in the middle. It's going to be equally yoked, okay? Don't worry about nothing, okay? Mm-hmm. There ain't no reason to be guarded to buy him. Let it go, girl, and sit up here and accept this new love, okay? Accept it. Love it, okay? Download. Hold up. Doing, doing a background check. He's suspect, Okay? Divine Feminine, you could be doing a background check on someone, or someone could be doing a background check on you, but it says down low, okay? Somebody on the down low, okay? Somebody is, let me see my phone. Not the text. I'm sorry about that, you guys. I'm gonna close it out. Oh. Okay. I have I have to meditate and raise my vibration in this bitch. Okay, somebody could have been testing your nerves, divine family, that you had to meditate and calm yourself down before you tick tick boomed on some fucking body, okay? Just calm down, keep it cute. Okay? Don't trip. He's a lame, but I like y'all together. Okay. Your kids feel like you still should be with your divine mask on their daddy, okay? Even though he's lame, they still want you and their dad to be together. Okay, thief, I'm about to whoop somebody's ass. Divine film, you might end up putting hands and feet on somebody if they then took something from you, okay? What else? Because I told you he's about that life, a career criminal, okay? You could be dealing with a thug, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you protected from any harm. God got you covered with the blood of Jesus. And if you need that protection bubble, feel free to reach out. Okay. Because Divine Masculine realizes that he's been in a toxic ass relationship with a straight drunk. Okay. Then on top of that, you got some fake ass friends around you that don't mean you no good. So watch these bitches. Okay. Because one of them sitting up here trying to wink and blink at your friend. Okay. Since he be at the strip club 24-7, just like me, okay? So your brother could know that your brother or somebody close to you or one of his homeboys could sit up here and throw your divine masculine up under the bus and say he be at strip clubs with other bitches winking and blinking, okay? He be up here rolling blunts at the strip club, hanging out, being in your arms feel like home, okay? Divine masculine said being around you feels like home, or this could be. The new soul may be in around you feel like home. Okay. Read all the terms and conditions. If you done got a new car, new place, make sure you read your contract so you don't be caught up in no shit. It might be something divine feminine that you see on your phone that might fucking shock you. So get ready, be aware, and don't let it knock you down. Okay, off course. Your divine masculine wants you to know that he loves you, okay? One of your ugly ass friends is sitting up here gonna try to portray you, being one of somebody face that you know. You gotta watch. It's somebody around you that you can't trust, okay? That you be hanging with, that you be telling your business to, okay? Watch this bitch, okay? This is the second one that we just seen, ain't we? Yeah. Yeah, we just seen. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is the same two different cards that say, "Watch your friend." Okay, you better wash these fucking musty mouth ass bitches around you and who you telling your business to, your sisters, your mama, and whoever, okay? Mm -mm. I don't care. Don't leave your mama around your man, okay? When you leave, mama got to grab her purse too, okay? Can't trust nobody these days. I love us, but I will protect us at all costs. And whoever this new soul may, he say he'll protect you and his kids at all costs. He see your kids as his kids, okay? He ain't playing with your masculine, okay? It's fake shit. Divine feminine, somebody, you gonna end up cussing somebody out, telling them they got you all fucked up, okay? If you knew about my dark past, would you still love me, okay? Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Is karmic and put divine masculine in a third party situation. Everybody knew about it, okay? And she still want divine masculine to stay with her, okay? You say drown and not enough give and take in this relationship, okay? The karmic say not enough give and take in the relationship. Divine feminine, you and your empress energy, okay? Why divine masculine out here fucking with bitches that he got to. That he have a menage trois with, okay? And even though he have a menage trois, okay? Hmm. You say? He over here having a menage trois and being a swinger with this bitch, okay? And putting him in third party situations. It wasn't enough. I mean, how much sex can you have, okay? Y'all already having sex together and then this bitch having side relationships too? Mm mm. Game over. Try again. You lost. Um, I am busy right now. Can I ignore you some other time? Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess game over. One of Divine Masculine's karmics ain't dealing with him. Dealing with him. My family told me he was a serial cheater. I should have listened. Damn. Okay. Okay, one of Divine Masculine's baby mamas. Is hurt in her feelings, can find out Divine Masculine sleeping around with somebody else. Okay. Divine Feminine, you done made the decision to trust yourself, okay, and you celebrating, okay, knowing, okay, that you chose you. Divine Feminine is a good girl that's restoring her life, okay, and choosing to be with your soulmate, okay. Yep. You're in a spiritual connection. You in a spiritual connection with this new soulmate, okay? And Divine Masculine, okay, he dealing with strippers and smoking weed, okay? And the karmic's in the same, she's in a relationship, okay, with one of the stripper women that he's sitting up here sleeping with, okay? And could have sat up here and got an STD from one of these fucking stripper bitches, okay? And he having baby mama drama, and everybody is gossiping about it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and close it right there. Y'all already know that I took that night well, too. Oh, and Divine Feminine, you are a good mother, okay? God wants you to know that he sees how much of a good mother you are. And you making it happen, okay? You love your granny, too, okay? I'm going to go ahead and close it out. I love you guys. And I'll call you back. <laughs> I said I'll call you back. And I'll, I'll be back tomorrow with another reading. Sorry about that. Y'all know I need to get some rest, okay? Forgive me. I love all you guys. Have a good night, okay?